Nice job, Tuzi. Great build, Tuzi. Wow, what a research, Tuzi. Ama- Okay, we're done. <coughs> Mom! Where's my paycheck? To the point. Observe. Tap, 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 boink. That is called... Do you want to do them yourself? You're in the right place. Range builds usually cannot be stronger than melee builds because, you know, balance. Unfortunately, for beautiful people at Core Keeper Development Team, I have no fucking life. I had a great help from one of the wonderful modders that willingly made a dummy mod, which allowed me to dive deep into research and uncover many secrets. For example, did you know that Omoros Tornado can trigger this perk? Also, did you know that if you have a 100% crit chance, you don't fucking need any crit chance items? Also, did you know that unpaid labor is illegal only if victim submits a report? I didn't. But with new acquired knowledge, we managed to pull some insane fucking numbers, which I would gladly share with you for a low, low price of one subscription and two ounces of Colombian. Okay, okay, let's go. Ra Kar's helm, chest and pants, level 18, reinforced. Glass bead necklace, level 18. Two spine rings, level 18. Blue leather tone, level 18. Pearl lantern, level 18. Galaxy chakram, level 18, reinforced. And an Olux with as many triple damage perks as possible. Here comes the fucky part. As you can probably tell, we have zero crit chance, so we rely strongly on a combination of many factors. First of all, food. Crit damage, crit chance, range damage, pure damage, thorns. In case you're confused on how one cooks such good shit, next video would be a guide on endgame max foods. Give me like th three days. Three days and I'll post it. Secondly, perks. I will highlight the important ones. Melee, vitality, gardening, fishing, cooking, range. We don't take this one because you rarely ever stand still in a fight. We take this one, as it's the only source of crit we have besides our food. Third, souls. Something we've never touched before, because it's like, free damage. Why not? But in case of this build, it heavily relies on Omaros Tornadoes to proc our crit chance. Having it active is a must, as well as Ra Akar's soul, that besides dealing a shit ton of damage, can also trigger a tornado. And then, tornado triggers another triangle, which triggers another tornado, which triggers another triangle, and then we go- You happy? Good. Subscribe.